Things may not look like you're in a new place, but you're going to another level. You're not the same person. No matter whose report are you going to believe, I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. Things are working out for my good. It's working out for your good. Everything and all things is working out for your good. Come on, Rashad, to the front row. It's all Already done. It's already done. Anybody believe that? Come on, increase in Jesus' name. Anybody believe that God increase. know what He's doing? Yes. Do you think God know what He's doing? He knows what He's you doing. You might not know what He's doing, but do you increase. really? Can you be real enough right say, I know that God know what He's doing. I know that God know what He's doing. That's all it takes. See. Thank you, Lord. See, when you be disobedient, what you're saying is God, you don't know what you're talking about. Come on now. When He tell you to do something yes. and you don't do it, uh -huh. then you saying that you know more than God. My God. Come on now. My God. So you got to act like you know that God know, know what he's doing. Talking about. Oh, That's my. right. Anybody know he's able tonight? Just rest. I'm telling you, he able. Yes. I don't care what it look like. He able, Jake. Yeah. He able, bro. He he's can able. do it. Yes, it don't yeah. matter what it is. He's yes, able. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. yeah. So it don't matter what you believe in, bro. You need to know he's able tonight, princess. Be able. He's able. I don't care what it look like. He can do it. He can do it. He can do it. All he requires is that we believe. Any believers in the house tonight? Glory to God. I believe. I believe. I believe. I'm talking about when it looks like it ain't no hope. I believe. I believe. When my back up against the wall, I believe you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Believe in my heart. I believe 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 you, Lord. The next step, step. My word is a light to your path. But so often you want a flood light oh that God. will make the entire journey clear. Mm. My child, Slow if, if you knew everything uh. that was ahead of you, you would be too afraid to face the obstacles you have not reached. Mm. Yet I know that if I show you just one step at a time, that you would have the strength and the hope to continue. For even though I have many good things planned for you, each one must come in the correct timing. My God. If I showed you too many steps ahead, you would be tempted to jump ahead to the steps that you think are fitting. Mm. So do not think that I am withholding anything from you yeah. by showing you just one step of your journey at a time. I got your journey one step at a time. For I know what must come first and what must follow next. I know the entire journey ahead of you. And I know what you can handle and what you cannot. I got it. For not only will I reveal one step at a time, but I will also give you what you need to walk that step. Right. And so if you walk with me just that one step at a time, not only will you be taking ground, but you will also be collecting new treasures mm. and tools along the way. If you jump ahead and miss some of the steps, it would also mean missing out on the tools and treasures that I have for you. So do not be discouraged that the entire picture is not clear right now. My God. Rather rejoice mm. because with each step you take, I am equipping you for something new. My God. Each step you take leads you closer to the goal and it also makes you stronger for the greater journeys that I have planned. So rest in me this day and be patient, my child. Consider what is that I am teaching you today. Consider what is that I am giving you today. Then grab hold of the lessons and tools and soon you will see that you have gathered many good things along this way. Then take my hand and you will see up ahead that the next step is opening up for you to take once again. Says the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. The next step. Listen, I know a lot of us think we're ready. God is not through yet. 
My doing love. what he's doing in us. Yes. He's still laying the foundation. There's still some things. There's still some stuff he's setting in place. Because see, where you going, you ain't, see, you're going to get this thing right the first time. My God. You ain't going to get to a place and be immature and be not ready and then make some mistakes and then have to fall, get it right again, then come God. back up. That's it. This is not that group. Yes. We going from glory to glory with glory this thing. Glory. So everything that he's doing in us, yes. we got to let him finish doing it in us. Yes. Amen. Am I making sense? Amen. I don't know everything that you're struggling with and what you're dealing with, but God does. That's right. We prophets, but we we don't. I don't know your whole situation. Mm -hmm. Come on now, I'm not God. We're not God. We only know what God reveals us to reveal to you. Amen. But it's still some stuff. Everybody's is under construction. That's right. And you know we came through the fast, we did the fast, and people was excited. Mm -hmm. But see, it was like it was a hack. Come on now. Now it's like the high going back down. Like <laughs> that's right. Why? Because you're not what you thought you was. See, it, see, if you wouldn't have looked at it like it was a high and you didn't intentionally look at it like that, it just, it felt good the place you was in. Yes. So you felt a little invincible. You're like, okay, I did this, you know. You lifted yourself up, but God wasn't through. That's right. And so when he wasn't through, you bumped your head a couple times because he wanted to show you exactly where you at. That's right. See, it's not that the thing ain't already done. It's already done, but I got to show you where you at in the thing. That's right. I got to make sure that you don't understand that this thing, you don't let this thing overtake you. Mm -hmm. That I get every purpose accomplished in through you in this thing. That's, That's what right. I'm trying to do. I'm doing more than just trying to get you the way you're trying to be. That's it. It's people watching you. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. If folks is watching you. That's good. So while you ready to get up and think you ready, I'm gone. Be like, no. It's somebody else that's that's that they struggling harder than you struggling. Yes. And you when you come out, come on, oh, it's gonna build them up that yes. I can come out. Yes. But yes. right now you might have not even know who that person is. My God. It might be a co-worker. It might be a family member. Yes. It might be a sinner. But somebody watching you. Mm -hmm. Somebody watching you. Yes. So 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 just 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 calm down and let God finish this work. Yes. I promise you, everything is already set. That's you it. know, at home when you set the thermostat, you put that thing up on eighty. But when you put it up on eighty, the temperature don't turn to eighty right then, does it? Come on. Your thermostat been set. That's it. Let God finish the change. Let him, let him finish changing your temperature. That's it. There's still some stuff in there. I still there's still some pride in there. There's still some arrogance in there. Come on now. There's still some disobedience in there. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. There's still some double-mindedness in there. You know, some days you ready to just go back to the world. Forget it. Yes. This God thing ain't what I thought. It's taking you too long, God. There's still some of that in there. So there's a breaking still taking place. Yes. Humility. Yes. You got to be humble. You got to be humble. See, it, 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 if you can't be humble with a thousand dollars, how you gonna be humble with a me? Come on now, it's the little things. To, to God, everything is the same all the way across. Yeah. A lie ain't no different than, than, than a murderer. Mm -hmm. A sin is a sin. That's right. So, but, but we got to be able to be trusted. It's about being trusted. Mm -hmm. So you want to be trusted with the breakthrough, but can you be trusted with the pain? My God. Let me tell you something. God can't use you if he can't hurt you. You got to be broke down in order to be built up. That's right. Why? Because he's God. I don't need you to be all the way. How can you, how can you be, how can you minister effectively to somebody and you ain't been through nothing? Mm. I mean, I just have made all the right decisions in my life. I ain't never yes. been hurt. I ain't never been through nothing. But I can tell you something. No. You got to start here. Show us where God intervened and then brought you here. Mm -hmm. God ain't through. He ain't through with your bloodline. He ain't through with your destiny, your ministry, your business. He ain't through working on your mind. He ain't through working on your heart. Your heart been yes. tore up and broke up. Yes, People that did your wrong. Come on now. God ain't through. Hurting people hurt people. Sometimes you might think I'm not hurting no more. Then he'll put you in that right situation and you'll turn around and hurt somebody. So he's not through. 
But I'm telling you, it's already done. I promise if I'd be a lying prophet, thank anything you. God said he was going to do. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. He's going to do it. Thank you. And he's going to blow your mind. Thank you, Lord. But you got to cooperate with him. Cooperate. Cooperate. You got to work with him. When he tell you to do something, you do. That's it. See? And so many times we, 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 we pick and choose our obedience. Oh, I'll do this and I'll do that. Oh, God, I ain't doing that now. Mm -hmm. And that be the that one that very one thing you don't want to do be the breakthrough obedience. All of it. Your major up. breakthrough and that major thing that you don't want to do. It all he goes. know he be telling you some easy stuff that you're running and do. He know it. Mm -hmm. But he come right back and watch this. Watch when I hit it with this one. And then what happened? You draw all the way back up, get in isolation, the devil stop by talking to you, and bam, there you go. Now I gotta start all over again. Just do whatever he's telling you to do. Yeah. Now is the time. I'm telling you, this now, is the time right now. now. Is the time. Man, I'm telling you, this is the time right now. Y'all in the right it's place at place. the right time. Yes. This is the time to be saved. This is yes. the time to be walking with Jesus right now. Right now. Right now. Mm -hmm. We can't afford to do all this stuff. Everything that you done did up in your life up until now, God just gave you grace on it. it it's all good. You ain't got to worry about it. Yeah. It ain't coming back to hunt you or Not nothing. Thank but you. now, you can't afford to go back and try to do it now. That's it. I can't, I can't go back and want to be a freak right now. This ain't time to be a freak. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's serious. The devil trying to kill, steal, and destroy. Mm -hmm. See, now you've been dibbling and dabbling with the truth. My God. So now he like, oh, uh, you've been messing with the truth now. It's going to cost you this time. You can't go back to the strip club now. It's going to cost you. Mm. you can't, I can't go back and say I don't know. It's going to cost me. Do some strange for some change. I can't do nothing strange for no change no more. It's going to cost me. Why? That's right. Because I'd have been re revealed the truth. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight we're going to shift lanes. We're going to be talking about the power. This problem. is good. It's all coming together. Amen. Amen. So, my first question is this. Or your first question is this. What do I do with a prophetic word? Uh huh. How do I work with a prophetic word? Yes. See, Monday morning at 5 a.m. prayer, mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost was moving. Yes. And the Holy Ghost released the prophecy. Mm -hmm. And it was for whoever grabbed it. I, I received it for me. It's already came to pass for me. Mm -hmm. But I throw it out there and the Holy Ghost said, within the next 72 hours, yes. you was going to get an uncommon breakthrough in your life. Mm -hmm. That's what the Holy Ghost said. Mm -hmm. I dare it to say it, Tiffany. The Holy Ghost said that. So when the Holy Ghost throwed it out there, he throwed it out in the middle of the floor. Because mm -hmm. it was for everybody that was here. It was for you. So now, and people, you know, they got excited, but they really didn't know if that was, you know, did he just say something to stroke out? He go just then, or what? What do I do with this thing? Seventy-two hours. I even came back and text a friend. He seventy-two hours trying to get the thing in your spirit. Seventy-two hours. Even the one that wasn't here. Seventy-two hours. My oh God. So I'm taking back. What? What that mean? What, 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 it ain't nothing bad in seventy-two hours. Come on, you got to rise up. Yeah. What you think I'm going to tell you? You're going to die in 72 hours? Come on now, what you think it was? It was going to be in 72 hours. A blessing. Amen. Amen. Stop acting crazy. God ain't nobody trying to hurt you. My God. We're for you. My God. Come on now, some stuff you ain't got to eat. You know what I'm saying? We're also with. Amen. Come on now, 72 hours. Yes. We spiritually, we say something. You could have just sit there and had up. What happened? Jesus got out the grave in 72 hours. My God. You could have been doing thinking, I'm going to get out the grave in 72 My hours. God. Whatever it was, but stop, stop, stop focusing on the bad and being uh, suspicious and all that. I need a confirmation to the 72 hours. Don't you know, don't you think you need something in 72 hours? My God. You could have put whatever you wanted to put to it in 72 hours. My God. All I know is the promise is 72 hours. My God. That's all I need to hear. Yes, yes, yes. So you got to get to the point where when God says it's going to rain, that you get your umbrella. Yeah. Instead of saying that the sun's standing right now, uh -huh. I don't really think I need no umbrella right now. Yeah. God just told you it was going to rain. My God. So stop acting. We got to, come on now. Come on up out of we your car. We got to get, 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 we got to
Yes. You know what I'm saying? We gotta stop making, trying to make some, trying to be so deep and trying to, I gotta make sure that that was God and all that. Come on, man. Come on, come on. Cut it out. Cut it out. You don't know it's God by now, you ain't gonna there know. You go. There you go. There you go. You don't know by now, you ain't gonna know. There you go. But when God speaks something, you got to, you got, you got to know what to do with that thing. Yes. So let's look at 1 Timothy 4. My God. Woo. Verses 14 and 15. Read this one. 1 Timothy 4, 14. Give everybody time to get there real quick. 1 Timothy 4. 1 Timothy 4, because we want everybody to see this. The power of prophecy. And I want you to write down every scripture. My God. This is very yes. important. Write down every scripture. Yes. So that when you go back, you know what I'm saying, you, you're going to be able to follow this road map. Read verses 14 and 15. Neglect not the gift that is in thee. Okay. Which was given thee by prophecy. By what? The, it, it was, the gift was given to you, to you how? By prophecy. Let's that, wake up, y'all. The gift was given to you by how? By That's it. Keep going. With the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. Uh-huh. Meditate upon these things. Okay, so hold on, hold on. So what? when you get a prophecy, what do, what do you need to do to, with it? Yes. You need That's to meditate on it. Amen. God said 72 hours. You should, have been saying, you should have been saying 72 hours in your head like a thousand times by now. Yeah. Oh, God, you said 72 hours. You said, you know, 72 hours, 72. Okay, 72 hours. All day long. Hours, yeah. Call the something, call. Something rapid is going to happen. Meditate on it. 72 hours. Yes. 72 hours. God, you said 72 yeah. hours. My bill's going to be paid. Don't off. let it slip. Maybe it. I'm going to get a new car 72 hours. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm going to get that job I don't believe for, but you said 72 hours and you said it through the mouth of your prophet. And I don't believe that it was a man. I believe it was you speaking through the man. Yeah. 72 hours. God, that's what you say. Yeah. Meditate on So the first thing is meditate. Meditate. Yeah. Read it again. Start from 13. Neglect not the gift that is in thee. Okay. Which was given thee by prophecy. Okay. With the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. Okay. Meditate upon these things. Uh-huh. Give thyself wholly to them. Okay. In other words, believe that thing and run with that thing. Keep going. That thy property may appear to all. So in other words, My God. if God give you a prophetic word mm -hmm. out in the public, uh -huh. you grab that thing, yeah. you meditate on that thing mm -hmm. until you see that thing. That's it. You should profit by it. Why? Because guess what? If, if, if I prophesied it to you in public, God going to bring it to pass in public. My God, my God. They going to be able to know that. Oh, I remember when he prophesied in the hood. That's right. people have become prophet junkies. You know, they ride around, they got all these prophecies. You know, you, are, you ain't got no prayer life, but you want me to tell you what the Lord finna do for you. My God. You ain't even living right, but you want me to tell you that Boaz is on the way. Come on now. So you lazy in the spirit, and so you want to sit here and drain the prophet. I give you one prophet. You still looking like, keep going. Give you another prophet. Keep going. Now you want me to go from prophesying to lying. So you want me to start lying to you now. Yeah. That's to stroke your ego. Well, what did you do with the last 200 prophecies? Have any one of them came to pass? No. So you can't say the prophet was a lying prophet. You didn't do nothing with the prophecy. Could it be you still here because you didn't grab what the prophet said? Could it be that that situation has not changed because I didn't take the words of the prophet? The woman took one prophet. I don't even remember telling her this. See, when it's yours, ain't nobody got to convince you that it's yours. See, I could be prophesying to Lenora and somebody on the other side of the room jump off. Just because I didn't call your name don't mean it ain't your word. You got to know what's yours. Ain't nobody always got to call your name. I ain't got to say, Jay. Know your word when you hear it. I mean, we be in sentence and meeting and folks be talking and prophesying stuff to other folks. I'm like, hey, you talking about me. That's my word. Know your word. It's power and prophecy. Harry came in this thing half up to my life, tore up from the floor. I ain't never seen this lady a day in our life. Gave that woman about one instruction. 
She was, in fact, Harry was just like, she was just like the lady we just got through reading. She was about to scrape the bottom of the bird. One word. One word. Take that woman of God life all the way around. One word. Now, mind you, the same thing the Holy Ghost told her. You don't know how many other folks he said that to? They didn't do nothing with it? One word in her obedience. Come on now. God told her to go down right now. Twelve things she wanted out of her life and hold the list up to God. That woman of God had already testified that it came to pass. Just like that. You sitting here want me to, you know, when you ain't got no doctrine, you ain't been, you ain't been to seminary and you ain't in mind. What? Come on now. You got time to wait on me four years to go to seminary and come back and give you this word? Or you need it right now? Come on, let's go to Isaiah. I need a couple more scriptures. Isaiah 40, 31. Hallelujah. So what do I do with a, with, a, with a prophecy? When I get a prophetic word, the first thing I do is meditate on it. Mm -hmm. The second thing I do is war, good warfare for it. That's it. Hallelujah. That's it. Yeah. Isaiah 40, verse 31. 40 and 31. Go on, read that. But they that wait upon the Lord ah. shall renew their strength. See, see, if you're waiting on God in faith, mm. then your strength is renewed. Why? Because you're not woe out trying to make something happen. Yes. That's you feel it. what I'm saying? You, you, you ain't got to worry about shipwrecking. Why? Because I'm waiting patiently in faith on God. See, God understands that you really, really desire that thing. He knows that and, and that it, ain't, it may actually help add to your life. Right. But you got to just patiently, you got to just tell them, Lord, I am so ready for this to be over, but God, I'm just trusting you. I'm trusting that you are dealing with me, everything that's in me that's not right. right. You are stripping me of it, every desire that I'm lusting after of, right. of according to this thing. Right. God, you deal with me and my flesh. Come on, because man. while you're waiting, he's doing some things in you right. before he allow it to come to pass. So in these particular situations where you're praying and waiting on God to do something, just trust him. You're not like the sinner or the hypocrite that right. don't know God. Right. That's worrying while they're waiting. Right. You patiently wait. You rejoice in tribulation. Right. Amen. Amen. That's what the word of God says. You got to start quoting that word. Some days gonna feel good. Some days not gonna feel so good. Right. He understands that you're human. Right. Amen. But he's building you up in him. He ain't going to just give it to you just to please you. And sometimes he will allow it just to come on into your life just so you can quit praying about it. And now you maybe going to have to pay more for it. You're going to have to go through more to keep it. Come on now. Yeah. It may cost you way more than you even thought it was going to cost you once you get on that side. My God. Amen. So just trust God in the process of waiting. Allow him to do everything in you in that moment, in that season, in that time that he's trying to do. Amen. And let him get to you everything that he's trying to get to you. Amen. So the first thing we do with our prophecy is what? Meditate, Meditate. on it. It's the, good. The second thing we do when we get a prophetic word is warfare. 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 War. Good warfare. The third thing that we do when we're waiting on, on our, when we have got a, a prophetic word is what? Wait. wait on the Lord. We wait. We wait. Now I got a question. Wait. When you up in a restaurant and you see waiters, people that are waiting, mm -hmm. what do waiters do? Wait on you. No, they serve. They serve. So while you're waiting on God, serve. Be serving. Mm, keep it going. Don't be sitting there just stuck like I ain't gonna do nothing till my, my ship come in. <laughs> no, you 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 keep serving. Yes. You keep moving. You keep growing. Yes. You keep grooving. Come on now. Yes. You don't set it on one place talking about you waiting on God. No, you keep serving. You keep running. You keep going. Why? Because it ain't about you. My God. Amen. Let's go to uh let's go to Romans 4. Is this good, anybody? Amen. Is this blessing the house? Amen. Amen. Listen, God, I'm telling you, God is trying to get some stuff to you. Yeah. And, and you got to step out of your, your past 
life experiences. You gotta step out of your uh, your religion, tradition your, 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 your tradition and your religion. You gotta step up out. It don't it don't matter if it seems to be new to you. My God, just know that it's God. Yes. If y'all been coming this long, you know that it's God by now. Amen. At least you feel like it's God. Mm -hmm. All right. So 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 drop the, the, the you know being skeptical and all that. Just drop it and just when God speaks something. And you know it's your word. You know it's your situation. Yeah. Man, go run with that thing. Yes. Go run with that thing. Yeah. See, some 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 of y'all doing too good though. Some of y'all doing so good that, that that might sound crazy to you, but when you're doing so good, you don't really understand the value of faith. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to you believe to believe God if you're making forty dollars an hour. Forty dollars an hour. I, 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 I'm going to call you when I need you, God. Mm -hmm. right. And that's people's attitude. If you got the good job. Yeah. And some faith. Ooh. Ooh. My God. And some education. Uh-oh. Ooh, and some revelation. Uh-oh. See, okay. you, you, you Superman and don't even know it. My God, my God. Hey. See, I ain't beating up education. Mm -mm. We for education. Hey, Amen. I'm just saying add the revelation into it. Amen. That's it. Add God into this thing. That's when you're going to be Oprah. Come on now. I, I use Oprah because that's, that's the status that's right. that people understand. That's right. That's when you'll be over in the spirit. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. I, well, I got a revelation. I got one revelation that's going to change your life. Mm -hmm. And when I speak this thing, mm -hmm. it's going to come to pass. Mm -hmm. You call the thing oh. that's not as though it is. That's right. If you believe for the money, you don't have the money, then you call the money in and thank him for the money. Thank him for it. I you call the healing in. You call the favor in. You call the car in, the house, the husband, whatever it is. You call the thing in as though it's already been happened. That's it. The first thing you do with a prophecy is meditate on it. Mm -hmm. The second thing you do is war a good warfare. That's the third it. thing you do is wait on the Lord. That's the it. fourth thing you do is call those things that be not as though they were. Go to the next scripture. 18. Who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. The next thing you do is against hope, you keep hope. Keep the hope. You keep your hope. I know you said that I'm finna get the house, but my credit jacked up, my money jacked up. I ain't even got no job, but the only hope that I have right now is the fact that you said God. So you keep hope even, there, even when there is no hope. That's it. Romans 5 and 5, right? Just write this down. I'm gonna read it, but just write this in your notes. Romans 5 and 5 says, and hope make it not a shame mm. because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts yes. by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. Mm -hmm. So don't be shamed for what you're hoping for. My God, Amen. that's it. So you might be the only one that's believing mm -hmm. for that thing. You better say The it. whole family is up against you. My don't God. be ashamed of what you're hoping for. My God. Why? Because we got the Holy Ghost. He is not going to let you fall. The love of God is shared abroad in our hearts with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep standing. I'm going to keep believing. I'm going to keep hoping. Yes. In fact, the Bible says hope that is seen is not hope. So if I see the thing, I don't need to hope for it. My God. So all you might have right now, it's it hope. might be looking really ugly, but all you might have is just some hope. Amen. And see, so you hope until you can believe. Amen. My God. You believe until you know. Yes. And you know until you see. Yes. Come on now. Yes. Don't be ashamed of what you're hoping for. Mm -hmm. You might have had four marriages. Don't be ashamed because you still hoping for the fifth husband. Amen. Don't be ashamed because your credit jacked up. Don't be ashamed because your hood be clowning. Don't be ashamed because your daughter be clowning. Whatever it is, keep the hope. Keep Amen. The hope. Verse 19. My God. Verse 19. Uh, that's what we Yeah, verse 19. Four. Four, yeah. Uh, Romans 4 and 19. I'm sorry. And being not weak in faith. Ah. Uh, and being not weak in in faith. This whole thing is about faith. He's building your faith. You got to stand on faith. You got to I stand got. on the word. You got to keep confessing the word. You got to believe the word. You got to stand on faith. Come on. Nineteen. Being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead. Okay. When he was about a hundred year old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. This is Abraham who we're talking about. 
They believe in God for a baby. His wife is 100 years old. So the next thing that you do to, uh, to bring your prophecy to pass is don't consider your present situation. You see what he said? He said, he considered not his own body now dead. Don't consider it. Now I'm 100 years old. How to produce a baby? Don't consider it. My God. Why? Because heaven is backing you up. Mm. See? It ain't in what you think it's in. You might feel you too old. Uh-uh. No. See? God still can do it. Don't consider that situation. Mm. Don't consider it. In other words, don't worry about what it looked like right now. That's right. I don't care what it looked like right now. Mm -hmm. I ain't even considering it. Yes. You know what you're saying? Like, that's not even an option to my come God. up against my faith. My God. Come on now. Mm -hmm. That ain't even an option. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Yes. I ain't even got to be out there to fill out the application. I don't even consider that. My God. I can fill out the application on the phone because of the God I serve. Amen. My God. Because of the God I serve, I ain't even got to fill out the application. Mm -hmm. I'm not considering what the world say we got to go through to get this thing done. My God. See, you focusing on the world system. Yeah. The world say I got to have to fill out the resume like this. The world say I got to need to be there in, in person to take the test. That's what the world say. Mm -hmm. Be not conformed to the world. Be ye transformed. Mm -hmm. God's trying to transform your mind. He's trying to get you into the impossible zone. My God. To the zone like, I just believe. That's all I need to do, God. Just believe. Believe and obey. When I believe, whatever you tell me to do, I'm going to do that. I don't care what my mama say. I don't care what my pastor say. My sister. I'm gone like a chicken through the car. I just believe. Crackhead faith. Amen. <laughs> Verse 20. Verse. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. Okay. He was strong in faith. Doing what? Giving glory. What's the next thing you do when you get a prophetic word? You get God the glory. In advance. You give him the glory in advance. In advance. 72 hour blessing by praise the right glory. Now. Thank you, Lord. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna give you the glory because I God. believe. Yes, Lord. See, that's confusing the enemy. He's like, yes. why, why why is he praising God? Yes. I know a situation jacked up. Yes. But I'm giving God the glory. Yes. See, when I wear it, I give the devil the glory. Yes. But when I give God the glory, come on now, yes. when I shout, yes. when I praise the God, guess what? The devil know who I'm with. Mm -hmm. See, you confusing the devil and God. This week you're giving God the glory. Next week you 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 in cahoots with the devil. Mm. My God. He feeling like now you 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 you, you slipping over here getting your little choose the fruits and then you wanna run back to church on Wednesday night. Mm. See, he like, I got you though, I know you're coming back. That's why we got to be delivered. Mm. That's why you got to be delivered. So you won't be a statistic. My God. Not a bad statistic. Mm -hmm. You got to get delivered. You got to get rid of the pride. See, and when we say deliverance, people always think about smoking dope and having sex. Now, a bad attitude, you need deliverance. That's right. Somebody can't tell you nothing, you need deliverance. Mm -hmm. You only want to hear what you want to hear, when you want to hear it, you need deliverance. Mm -hmm. Why? Because God can't use you. See, he can only use you in certain situations. He can't use you in all situations. My God. I want God to use me in all situations. My God. Even if I don't understand it, just come on, show, show me how to do this thing. But on judgment day, we got an answer to it. Every call. Mm. On judgment day, I won't be sitting there trying to explain some stuff. Mm. And I know that he, I had the instructions to do this thing. So, so, number one, the first thing I do when I get a prophecy, I meditate on it. The second thing I do when I get a personal prophecy, I war a good warfare. Mm -hmm. The third thing I do when I get a, a, a prophetic word, I wait upon the Lord. Mm -hmm. the, first, the fourth thing that I do when I get a prophetic word is I call those things that be not as though they were. The fifth thing I do when I get a prophetic word is have hope even when it looks like it ain't no hope. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. The sixth thing that I do when I get a personal prophecy is consider not my present situation. My God. Hallelujah. Come on, verse 21. Being fully persuaded. Oh, my God. That what he had promised, uh -huh. he was able also to perform. So the, se the seventh thing that I do. Give God. Uh, you're right. You're right. The seventh thing is give God the glory. That's it. The eighth thing is what? Be fully persuaded. Be fully persuaded. 
that what he had promised, you need to know what? He's able to perform. The last thing you need to know is that he's able to do it. He's able to do it. When I get a prophetic word of God tell you, I, I see a debt free escalate, I need to know he's able to do it. My God. He's able now. Yes, he is. He's able, and I believe that. Amen. I believe he's able to deliver my husband, and when I get home, he'll be a brand new person. I believe he's I believe able. He can. He's able now. That's it. He can do this thing. He can deliver my mama. He's able. He's able. I'm fully persuaded Amen. that my sister can get saved and run for yeah. Jesus. Yeah. And I know he's what? He's able. He's able. Able. Glory able. Glory to God. Come on. Last scripture. Luke 137. Then we're going to pray. Luke 1 verse 37. Read. For with God nothing shall be impossible. One more time. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Come on again. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Now, do you believe that? Yes, I do. Do you believe he's able? Yes. Do you believe he can change that thing that you got on the altar? Yes. I'm talking about it do it exceedingly abundantly above. Yes. Do you really think that? Yes. And I'm telling you, it's not going to take long as you think it is. Yes. He's moving. Y'all know the earth moving right now, but we can't look outside and see it moving. Mm -hmm. Does that mean it's not moving? Amen. No, it's moving. So he said, the Spirit of the Lord, the next 72 hours, the next 72 hours, God's going to do something miraculous in your life. You're going to get a phone call. He specifically showed me the telephone ringing within the next 72 hours. Glory to God. 72 hours, somebody say, or less. Or less. Or less. Or less. God's going to show up in your situation. Now you know what to do with that prophecy. Now you know to go home and meditate on that thing. For the next three days, I'm going to keep this thing before you, God. I'm going to remind you what you said through the prophet. See, the next seven. Along with the Luke 137. The Luke 137 is your scripture to for, you, for you to know that I don't care what I'm believing for, it, it ain't impossible. It ain't impossible for my God. So I got a scripture to stand on that it ain't impossible. Mm -hmm. I got the instruction to do with the prophecy. Then the prophet has released the prophecy into my life. Amen. Now it's all on you. Amen. It's out of my hands. Yes. I'm waiting on the testimony. Amen. I'm just waiting on the testimony. 72 hour blessing. Amen. Huh. Somebody say, I receive, I receive my 72 hour breakthrough. Hour breakthrough. In, Jesus In Jesus' name. Come on, give God's hand clap of praise.